Hi students, so this is Letty Jane Andon. I will be your lecturer for your first lesson in CAD, which is Introduction to Computer Aided Drafting. Okay, so when learning CAD class, you can compare that to like learning a new language. But when you learn a new language, where will you start? Of course, you will start from the very basic, and that is your alphabet. Same goes with CAD. Okay, so you are, you are required to learn new concepts, skills and also you need to learn a different vocabulary which is very unique to CAD and with the help of frequent practice and uh, through time you'll be able to use CAD correctly and effectively. So by the end of this video you'll be able to understand the importance of CAD, discuss the history of CAD and also you'll have a we will have a very, very short review on the parts of computer. Okay, so let's have this question. What is CAD? Okay, Diba class? During your manual drafting, or for those students who was able to experience the environment of manual drafting, Diba is, you will utilize many tools, Diba? Example of those tools is we have drafting table. Uh, T-squares, triangles, drafting paper, mechanical pencil, tech pen, and so forth. We also have your compass. Okay, so you can see no? So your CAD, all of those tools is incorporated in CAD. Of course, by the use of computer through a given software. Okay, so computer design or computer aided drafting. Is a computer technology that designs a product and documents the designs process. So CAD may facilitate the manufacturing process by transferring detailed diagrams of a product's materials, processes, tolerances, and dimensions with specific conventions for the product in question. Okay, so that is your computer aided drafting or design. So the benefits of the CAD. Okay, so for you to appreciate the benefits of CAD, um, I am going to show you um, the design process. Okay, so, also the design process. Okay, so, of course, you will start from problem identification. Okay, so if you are the designer, what will you do is you're going to, of course, meet with your client. Okay, for you to know, like, what you want to size and styles of a lie, um, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. You will be able to also need to know the um, the type of terrain. Is it hilly or is it flat? And of course, you need to know the budget of your client. So from this data or from this information, you'll be able to determine the problems nga kinal is solve. And you also need to find the solution, okay? So, para ma, you'll be able to meet the needs of your client. So, after problem identification, you'll be able to proceed sa preparing of preliminary design. So, this step will compose of, um, of course, preparing mga preliminary design. So, you can present preliminary design. You can just present this through sketch or you can also present this through CAD if you want. Okay, then after that you will have okay, so among mga designers you will uh, you will do brainstorming so what is um, best for your client. Okay? And after that is you will meet again your client for the approval of preliminary design. And of course if na pasilitos kang ipa revise you'll be able to present them an immediate solution for that, okay? So after the approval of preliminary design, you will present the preliminary design to the drafters, okay? So for drafting. So this time, um, you will do the final design, okay? So final design ay mong After the final design, of course, mo-undergo pa na siya mga reviews okay so diba ang drafter man ang trabaho sa drafting okay so the um the fa the 
design will go through many reviews and of course if there are many reviews so somehow um, the designer will find some corrections and of course the draft the raptor will will uh, will need to um, to apply those revisions so so again after after drafting the design will still go through many revisions okay so as many as needed and after those revisions or after those reviews the design stage is considered done and the designer and drafter will now sign the plans okay so in ana ang process a design design stage so from what i have shown you from what i have shown you which is the design process so asa inyo ma-determine nga mga different benefits sa card okay so what will be the benefit of card if we're going to compare this to manual drafting okay so first is card is card will give the efficiency that we need okay so corrections can be made easily so mas dali siya buhaton ang corrections diba kay nara man siya sa computer okay and if you are going to compare that to manual drafting, of course, magbuhat na pagkakusab sa tanan. Diba? If there are certain corrections from the client, okay, so magbuhat na pagkakusab sa tanan niya drawing, diba? And you will have a more accurate drawings. So, this, and with this uh, speed and quality, you have a low cost of designing. Okay, okay. No need na mga to reproduce again the design because again, nara siya sa computer. Okay, so madali to siya ma-edit. Next is you will eliminate prototype model building. Diba? So by the way, class in uh, AutoCAD, you can also do 3D na mga design. So again, we're just not talking about AutoCAD here, so we're talking about any software that can perform a computer-aided drafting. So by the use of computer-aided drafting, we don't need to um, to develop a physical prototype, okay? Since makadevelop naman tao mga models sa computer using CAD, diba? So no need na ang mga physical prototypes. And also, one of the benefit of CAD is a faster production so that is a print just control p and one click and you will have a plan you'll be able to produce a hard copy of your plan and also you can also do a material estimation we can we can determine the cost of materials or how many materials and the cost of materials by just having the design nya plans or mga building plans okay so even during the design stage we can already compute for the material cost so those are some of the benefits of the computer aided drafting and now let's proceed to the history of CAD Did you know, class, that the concept of technical drawing is not a new concept? Okay, so there are some archaeological evidence that uh, suggest that so humans first began creating a crude technical drawings several thousand years ago. And a proof for that is si Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, so you know that Leonardo da Vinci is a great inventor, diba? And um, based on the evidence, he was the one who introduced the principle of technical drawing. And years after, okay, so nigawa si, nigawa, nigawa si ang term, no? Okay, so years after, we have here si a French mathematician named Gaspard Mongi. So, he was able to um, to further develop the um, the principle of technical drawing through descriptive geometry. So, ang kanina niya nga book class, um, 
this book was published in the year 1799 and because of this book Gaspard Monk was named as the founder of technical drawing and centuries centuries ba okay so centuries later so must na develop ni um, we name this person or we, these persons are now considered as the fathers of computer aided drafting so we have here si Patrick Hanrati and si Ivan Sutherland okay so these two are now the fathers of computer aided drafting so Patrick Hanrati in 1961 joined General Motors Research Laboratories where he helped develop the AC, so that is designed automated by computer, and that is the first CAD system to use interactive graphics. And years later, or few few years later, Ivan Sutherland broke new ground in 3D computer modeling and visual simulation, which is also the basis for CAD. Okay? And Okay, so mga siya ang mga, uh, these are again the fathers of computer aided drafting. So let's have the development of CAD. Okay, so in 1970s, so the first CAD programs were only capable of creating 2D drawings. So this was the time nga katong ka Patrick, di ba? Ay ka Papa Patrick di ay kay father man dito siya, no? And in late 1970, so, early solid modeling software started showing up. So, this was uh, after the contribution of Ivan Sutherland. Father Ivan Sutherland, okay. And 1980s, so 3D modeling emerged as new theories and algorithms evolved. And in year 1990s, so CAD focuses on automation of different aspects of design and manufacturing, speed and efficiency, and the development of development of new algorithms. So, mauni siya ang development of CAD through times. Through time. And, let's have again, as what I have said, we'll have a very short review on the parts of computer. Okay, so, so again, so this is, of course, you have already know this, this is central processing unit or your CPU. This is the core unit of the computer. And this is your monitor, so this is the, uh, the electronic device for which the contents of the CPU may be viewed. So this device allows the viewing of Im images, videos, and other graphical media available in the computer. And this one, we call this as your keyboard. So this is the device for which the user can input data and it contains all letters and numbers. And this one is, we call this as mouse. So this is a pointing device for which controls and enables the movement of the cursor in the computer monitor. Okay, so you will know the different role of this of these parts of computer. Ilang mga role sa computer ida drafting soon. Okay, so that's it for the introduction and God bless.